we celebrate today the blessing of your friends. Friends that have been made in schools and neighborhoods throughout the years. Friends that continue to be of support and are present here today. We pray and we celebrate today all of these blessings on this beautiful day. And yet, that's just half the story. How you got here is a blessing, but there is the future, your life together as husband and wife. Dear Nicole, I'm so happy that our paths crossed during the first week of medical school. Little did I know the Walsh girl that I gave a ride home to would be my wife. Hi, my love. I can't believe our big day is finally here. 2,405 days ago, we shared our first kiss on your 23rd birthday. I remember every detail about that night. I remember sitting in my bed when I saw the message from you and thinking to myself, is this kid interested in me? Our first weeks together really were a blur. You were my first boyfriend, and I had never really felt what it was like to spend every moment of every day with someone. I know living apart for the bulk of our relationship was hard, but I really think it was a blessing in disguise. I feel it made us strong, and we know that we have the ability to get through anything. Every time I had to see you go, my heart hurt. I knew that what I was feeling was pure love for you, which only helped reassure me that I knew what I had to do. I had to make you mine forever. You quickly became my best friend, and early on I realized I was in love with you. You helped me survive the grueling years of medical school, and you became my home when I was over a thousand miles away from my family and friends. I also know that marriage will inevitably have its challenges. When busy work schedules, night shifts, any challenges that come with having kids, when any other trying events in our relationship happen, I hope we can always come back to these letters that we've written for each other to restore any wavering thoughts. There are many reasons I'm so ready to marry you today. You're my best friend. When anything good or bad happens, you're the first person I want to tell. You make me feel safe and protected. You allow me to be myself and in return, you give me your full self right back, no matter how weird we both are at times. You have learned to love Harry Potter just as much as me, and you know how important this is. You are smart and wise. I'm so proud of the good, successful doctor you have become, and know that you have a bright career ahead of you. I'm so impressed by your drive and passion, and it has become contagious for me. I know that I can get through any challenge because I will always have you in my corner. Your strong personality is so attractive, you always stand up for yourself and what you believe in, and I know being around you has had a significant impact on me. With your love and guidance, I feel I have changed for the better in so many ways. You are my soulmate, and I cannot wait to face the world with you. Through thick and thin, I know that our love will forever prevail. Love, Tyler. Since we're doing the generic church vows, here's what I vow to you. I promise to love you forever. I promise to never give up on us. I vow to work hard at a relationship any time it gets tough. I promise to try, to try and never go to bed angry. I promise to be your biggest supporter, number one fan, and I will be there to encourage any dream you may have. When you're feeling down, I promise to pick you right back up. I promise I will try harder to not spend all of our money. I'm fully committed to loving you, honoring you, and sharing my life with you forever. So in the words of Seth and Scott Avett, I'm done forever, it's you and me forever. I'll see you at the altar, always. This couple right here, Nicole and Tyler, are sitting before us as the image and likeness of God. That their love for one another is a, a, a reflection, if you will, of God's initial love, not only for his creation, but for them specifically. And they are choosing today to pledge their love in a sacrament, which is a way of saying, you know, I'm making my life a, a sign, a symbol, a sacrament of God's love.
May God, the all-powerful Father, grant you his joy and bless you in peace. May the only begotten Son of God stand by you with compassion in good times and in bad. And may the Holy Spirit of God always pour forth his love into your hearts. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon all of you and remain forever and ever. Amen. My dear friends, it gives me great joy to introduce to you, now joined as husband and wife in the sacrament of marriage, Mr. and Mrs. Tyler and Nicole Gumbosh. Twenty-six years is a long time, and through those years, going through the ups and downs, becoming a part of the Shelvin family, obsessing over the Backstreet Boys and Harry Potter, taking road trips to Midland for the 4th of July, I've come to know Nikki very well, to say the least. She's passionate, goes after what she wants, and will give 100% to achieve her goals. She loves workout classes, banana custard from Strickland's, a nice rosé and cheese pairing, but most of all, I know she loves Tyler. I have watched them grow together as a couple over the last six and a half years, and I'm so excited to be a part of all the next chapters that come their way. Tyler and Nick wanted six kids when we were younger, so you're excited she's come down to four. Those trips to the wizarding, wizarding world of Harry Potter should be a breeze. As you enter the world of marriage, continue to support each other, compromise, and always try to find the positive out of the hardest moments. Marriage is always a work in progress, but Tyler, you are so lucky you're marrying a girl that is as passionate and de dedicated to you as Nikki is. You two are the perfect complement to each other, and I couldn't be happy that you two found each other. Cheers to a lifetime of happiness. <laughs> because where else do two future doctors from two hours away from each other in Ohio go on to meet but in South Florida? The day Nicole told me about Tyler, the first thing she told me was that he was really hot. <laughs> but then she elaborated. She said he was also, he was a classmate. He was from Ohio. He was also a middle child. Uh, he sounded like a really good guy. I just wanted to tell you, remember to appreciate everything day to day. It goes really fast. In the last, you know, couple months, you've graduated residency, you got a, your first real job, right? Uh, moved in together and now gotten married, so just take it easy. Remember to appreciate everything, okay? Today is maybe the happiest day of your life, but it's just a starting point, so congratulations to both of you, and let's uh, do a toast. So. <laughs> And I've always said that uh, when I married Roseanne, uh, she turned my house into a home. And now Nicole is going to get have the privilege of turning Tyler's house into a home. Uh, now that's going to be a little bit different in that it's going to involve uh, decorating a little bit with antlers. Roseanne. You know, I don't think she can help in that department, but I think uh, I think you'll figure it out, and, and I think you'll do just just fine as a couple. The story of Tyler and Nicole—it's a—it's a great story. It's—it's it's a lot about uh, people that had dreams. They just decided to go out and make their dreams come true, and and, and Tyler and Nicole have both done that. We're just blessed to have you all here and to celebrate with us, but we really wanted to thank you. You all played such an important part in the story of Nicole and Tyler. So thank you all and a toast to Nicole and Tyler. But life has a funny way of working itself out. 
because not only did Tyler go to uh, Florida to learn the skills that he was going to learn for the rest of his life, he also met the woman he was going to spend the rest of his life with. Uh, I remember the first time I met Nicole, we hit it off right away. Uh, she was funny, smart, outgoing. I could not imagine a more perfect person for my best friend. Uh, and now we here are today, on your wedding day, undoubtedly one of the best days of your life. But unlike before, when I couldn't imagine how it could get any better, I know for a fact that your best days are about to come. And I'm so excited to look forward to the future that uh, is in front of you guys. So if everyone could please join me, raising, well, toast number three, Tyler and Nicole, congratulations you guys. We were talking about the relationship of a family friend and sort of the dynamic of who takes care of who in a relationship. My mom was in the front seat, front, front seat. she turned around and half jokingly, half serious, asked Nicole and Tyler who takes care of who. Um, they both kind of paused and at the same time said, we both do, and then cheekily smiled at each other. Uh, so Tyler, um, I've known since the first day I met you how much you loved my sister, and then I knew that day in the car how full of love and care your marriage would be. So to Nicole and Tyler, I love you both so much. I'm so happy you found each other, and I can't wait to watch our lives grow together. So as the great American poet Scott Avett once said, <laughs> if you're loved by someone, you're never rejected. Decide what to be and go be it. So if you will join me in raising a glass, to being fearless, to going after what you want, and to finding love along the way. Cheers. <laughs>